Well, hello, 16100 Realty Agents. Here I am again this week to share with you all the great things that you missed today. So don't forget, every Tuesday, 11 a.m., power up. Let's take your business to the next level together. Um, so these are things to help you, you know, your business to grow smoothly and to move smoothly. And so we wanted to really focus this week on lead generating because without lead generating, your business is not going to ever grow. So you've really got to focus on lead generating and you've got to be doing it every day. Um, so there's tons of things that you can be doing on lead generating, um, you know, scheduling open houses, going out to the community, doing community events, door knocking. Uh, here's a whole long list of things that you can do. Mail outs, farming for sale by owners, handwritten notes, networking. I mean, it's the sky is the limit. So I am going to challenge you this week to take one thing, take one thing this week that maybe is a little difficult for you or that you just want to master and or that you just keep forgetting to do it, you know, and you fall, you know, it falls to the wayside. So take one thing this week, do it every day. And then next week, I would love to hear the results of that one thing that you did um, or if there's something new um, or if you have other ideas, I would love to hear. So you can always comment um, and record a comment or post a, uh, a comment on this video. And um, so I would love to hear back, you know, hear back any feedback. So th that's the challenge for this week. So please take something and um, we'll hear from you. So, but in the class for us, um, I wanted to take social media, Facebook. I mean, it's, it's huge. So I'm going to slide over here to that, to our slide. And um, Facebook is, is huge. Um, and that's your network. That is your database. It's free. And, you know, why not um, go after free business? Why keep paying for referral fees and this fee and that fee when you have a whole network in your hands? Um, your database is a lot bigger than you think. Um, so this is one of the places that I really wanted to focus my business on and I have gotten results from. And so I wanted to share that as well with you guys. So I'm just going to share some little tips and little things on here. And, um, we're going to dive deep into Facebook. All right. So a couple of differences, personal page, business page, what you should be putting on your personal and what you should be doing on your business. So personal page is normally always going to be private, authentic, your current people, uh, family and friends. It has your past post. And of course, you have to abide by local and state laws on any time that you're posting anything that's real estate related. You need to make sure to hashtag or put the at sign 16100 Realty um, to stay in compliance that you are not the broker and that you are under a broker. So that is very important. I know a lot of people don't do it, um, but I want to make sure that we do stay compliant. So we need to do it as much as possible. And a lot of times we do the live videos and you can always go back and edit um, and put those hashtags and at signs. Um, and it also just helps your branding and everything too. And you want the people to be able to find you and know where you're at. So it's, it's a benefit for everyone. Um, so on your business page, you want, of course, it's open to the public. Um, and you want to ask for client reviews. As soon as you close a client, send them the link to the face, to your Facebook and ask for a review that is going to really build up your page. Um, how most people find business is normally through searching and it normally takes them straight to your Facebook page. Um, last week I had, um, put in the Facebook group, the back group. What do you find when you search your name? So make sure to do that and see what people are seeing when you search your name. You want to make sure you stay branded. So you want to make sure to always, you know, use 16100 Realty. And then if you have your own brands, um, then of course I encourage that as well. And then if it's a new brand or new logos, um, new marketing uh, materials, you always want to pass that through us so that we can make sure you're in compliance um, and get approved. And one of the important things on the business page is your 
about section. Um, make sure all your contact information is in there. How do they get a hold of you? Is there a phone number, email? Um, are the two pages linked? So on your personal page, you need to go on there and put that you work at and then put link it to your business page. And then you can put also at 16100 Realty. So that way it shows that it's connecting you to the two business pages. And so if a client is trying to get a hold of you and contact you, you're not going to have all your personal information on your personal page. But if they click and go to your business page, then they'll be able to find your information. Um, so, and then of course the business page, you could do a whole lot more insights and boosted ads and posts. So that's a little bit about that. You don't want to do too much on your personal page about business because and then you'll go to Facebook jail. So um, this is something that you should be doing on your business, um, your business page. You want to do three personal and then one business post. Even though it's your business page, you still want to put the personal posts. So that way you're still engaging with the people and um, letting them know who you are and things that you like to do and so that you can connect with the people. Um, and then you can also take the posts that we do on the company and share them as your own as well. Um, share all the listings. Uh, all the listings, of course, are for you to share as your own. So there's lots of things that you can you know, do on the posts. Um, everyone might have different traffic times. So right here's an example of high traffic time during the day um, from 11 to three, um, Monday through Friday. And um, so for some reason, everybody's taking some long lunches or visiting their social media during lunch and then maybe right after work. So those are times to create posts and take advantage of that. Instagram looks like it's a little bit more busier on Sundays, Saturdays and Sunday. Um, so maybe that's when you should post on um, those times. And so, but you can look that up on your page to see um, what, uh, your database is uh, looking at when they are doing it. So this kind of shows you where to go on Facebook to get that information and where to go on Instagram to get that information. And you can see when is the most time that people are interacting on your post. So um, you wanna make sure to include the audience, um, ask for questions, ask for help, um, get, their ideas, get their inputs. Um, if you're looking for a new logo, um, a new uh, question, how did you how did you find your last realtor? Did you go to the farmers? Do you go to the farmers market? Do you like cookies or donuts? Um, sometimes people will put, do you like this house or that house? You know, are you more modern or um, farmhouse? Um, so. Try to put something that's going to interact with your clients and with your database and your family. Alrighty, don't post and ghost. So this is saying don't post something and then if somebody replies um, to your post and then you don't ever comment and then don't just put a heart or a like, go back and show gratitude, be playful, use a GI app. Um, and of course, don't get into any politics or anything like that. But you want to show them that you're thankful that they're engaging. And it also brings your post back up to the top. So you definitely want to be very engaging to everybody that is liking and sharing um, your post. Be a giver. Comment on your friend's post as well. So making sure not just to do the like and heart but actually um, writing some there, something there because it is, and you can even post it from you, like if it's coming from you as the realtor versus you personally. So that way it's also a reminder that you are a realtor. Um, so like the example that it says here, and they will get a notification from you, opens up communication with the person. So if you're constantly posting and commenting on, um, other people's post, then that's a way of your engaging and staying in front of them and reminding them that you're there. 
Um, if they visit your page, they need to see that you are in real estate. Um, so make sure that they can find you. I just recently had um, a lady reach out to me and she wanted to meet me at the office. Well, I didn't know what she wanted to meet. We're friends on Facebook, um, but I didn't remember how we were friends on Facebook. I, I couldn't you know, remember. And I was trying to look her up and um, I was kind of thinking, okay, well, maybe she wants to meet me about buying a house because I don't know. And we'll come to find out she's a realtor. Well, but there's nothing on her about that she's a realtor. She's not, she doesn't have her personal page connected to a realtor page. So I had no clue that it was a realtor that she's wanting to join us. Um, and of course I was going to meet her either way, whether it was to help her buy a house or to recruit her. But um, so that's really, really important. Build your following. So um, this is the, a really, really great idea. And I loved this. And so this is my one thing that I'm going to take this week um, to be my commitment, um, my challenge for this week of what I want to do. Um, so leverage your vendors, create your own Angie's list of your favorite contractors and vendors and create a photo album with their logos or a picture of them or it's something that they're doing um, and then tag them and then write a little bit about them and put their comment, their all their contact information, their website, hashtags, whatever um, on that photo. And then that way, all your vendors are going to be in that photo album. And I'm going to do this on my personal page and my business page. So I'm super excited about this. Um, and then also ask your vendors to do the same, to return the love and to share you. And if they create a vendor a photo album, if you could be featured on it as well. Um, so this is a great way to share. I just love this idea. Um, and then you want to make sure to like, comment, share, and follow um, each, uh, each photo in the photo album. Um, another thing that you can do is you can partner with the vendors and do giveaways. Um, you could do weekly giveaways and say, okay, for everyone that likes or shares or comments below, um, we're going to do a free gutter cleaning, a free home inspection. And I'm sure if you partner with the inspector, you can get it at a discount um, or come up with something. Uh, so this was a amazing idea. So I'm looking forward to doing this by next week. And I will let you know my results. Do's and don'ts. Um, on your business page, be quick to respond. Um, have a conversation and be authentic. Reference something personal you saw on their feed, like the key, kids' achievements, promotion at work, etc. So this is a really good way of um, something you know great has happened. Um, someone has changed jobs, got a promotion or something. Send them a message, message on Messenger saying you know congratulations and or a text if you have their phone number. Um, and comment. So do a little bit of everything so that way you're really engaging with them. Always seek to upgrade the conversation to a meeting in person or on the phone. Let's catch up over lunch and coffee. Use Messenger to connect and warm up with your relationship. So you want it to be more about engaging, not being a sales pitch. So here's the don'ts. You don't do this on Messenger. Um, do not send a canned message that is 10 sentences long and blow up their Messenger inbox, especially if you have not engaged with them at all in their posts. Um, so you don't want someone to accept your friend request and, oh, thank you for you know accepting my friend request and then giving them their long story of what you're selling. Um, I get those all the time. So we don't want to do that. Um, did not communicate via messenger only. Always seek to upgrade the conversation to take it online, offline, to a phone call, in-person text. Um, do not dish out free real estate advice without scheduling an appointment. So, of course, everybody wants a free CMA. What is my house worth? Um, or all these to-dos. And so you want to try to meet with them in person so that you can give them that live presentation. And bottom line, people are savvy and know when they're about to be sold. 
Don't be that person. Work towards building genuine relationships. Thanks for contacting. Thank, oh, thanks for connecting with me on LinkedIn and then messaging me five minutes later with a sales pitch. Yeah. When that friend you saw, you last spoke to in 97 sends you a DM asking, do you want to earn additional income? Yeah, that's going to be a note for me. Not sure if you're a nice guy or trying to sell me something. So those are things that we have to stay away from. And um, one other thing that I shared with the group today, and this is also attached to the email, so I'm not going to go over it completely, but this is really, really huge. The power of Facebook and the database is crazy. So here's some instructions on how to interact, how to download your database, and how to organize your database. So this is really, really great information. And like I said, I'm not going to go through it but um, step by step on what to do and how to do it. You can create lists. I have a list for realtors. I have a list for my family. I have a list for lenders, affiliates, uh, my salsa family, uh, my daughter's school. So that way, if I'm having an event or something and this is who I want to invite, then it makes it a whole lot easier as well. Um, but these... Uh, this is great information for you to take and clean up your database. Um, and of course, you know, our database sometimes can be very long. Yeah, so one of the things that I do to help clean up my database is every birthday um, or every day, sorry, every day you get, you know, five to 10 people that are having birthdays. So the, at that moment that you're sending them happy birthdays and you want to send happy birthdays to everyone, even if you don't know who that person is that's on your Facebook, because that happens to me all the time, still send them a happy birthday um, and um, still send them, them a happy birthday. And at that time, update their list to see, are they on the right list? Are they still a realtor? Or um, if you really don't know who the person is, then delete them. Um, so... Those are my two cents. And that, that's all about lead generating with Facebook and social media. And next week, we will hit another subject. So it's always great to come in and see what you're going to learn. Always find new stuff. And um, it was great to see everyone today. And we had a new agent join us today. So it was great um, having him as well. And I love to hear all the great stories and the outcome of the challenges that we put out there. Um, so hope to see you next Tuesday at 11 a.m. Thank you. Have a good night.